What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel Joshua Partugi here right from Brisbane, Australia and as you can see Brisbane is looking really beautiful today so I thought let's not waste this beautiful weather and vlog outside and also because some of you has been expecting me to vlog outside anyway right so let's get down to the business today folks many people have asked me how can they be a scrum master without any prior experience as a scrum master so my response to this kind of question has always been be part of a scrum team first because you can learn from the scrum master in that scrum team regardless whether the scrum master is good or bad now as some of you already know the scrum master is portrayed by a scrum guide is a true leader who serves now if the scrum master in that team is a true leader who serves you will learn a lot from that scrum master how does a true leader who serves works in a company and as you already know from my other videos the scrum master serves the company by using eight different hats and one of those hats is the mentor hat and from that awesome scrum master they might want to mentor you to be awesome as they are but if the scrum master is not reflecting a true leader who serves you can also learn how not to be a bad scrum master in the future when you get the opportunity to be one one of my favorite sports to watch is football and from what i have learned many great football or soccer coaches has been a former football players in their early career it really surprises me whenever people wanted to be a scrum master without wanting to be a scrum team member first learn how to appreciate the process don't cut out the process I know my opinion might not be so popular because there are quite many videos on YouTube that has been informing people on how to be a scrum master just by attending a scrum master training or just by getting a scrum master certification and this situation is what's causing a lot of companies senior managers and even consultants have a low trust with scrum masters because there are quite many scrum masters in the job market Market who does not have any prior experience as a scrum master working at the scrum team level or even at the corporate level by being part of the scrum team not only you will learn from the awesome scrum masters in that team as I mentioned earlier you will also learn how collective intelligence in a self-managing team works you will also learn about the attitudes of the scrum team members how conflict should be handled and how effective facilitation in a scrum team should work you will also learn about agile practices that works and that doesn't work in certain contexts on another spectrum you will also learn why there are so many scrum team members who hate scrum so much now as I mentioned earlier one of the hats the scrum master wears is the mentor hat now from your experience either good experience or bad experience working as a scrum team members you will be able to share those experience when you are a scrum master and when you need to wear the mentor hat but don't just stop getting experience working in a scrum team because as we already know the scrum master also need to serve the wider organization many scrum masters in the industries only focus working at the scrum team level but do not have enough exposure working at the corporate level which is necessary to be an effective scrum master because there are more scrum masters who only focus working at the scrum team level this is how many senior leaders or even consultants dumb down the scrum master role only as the scrum team's personal assistant whenever possible observe how is the intricacies how large organization work and also the bureaucracies and the politics inside it learn how individuals especially from the middle managers up makes decisions map out how the network of people inside large organization works and how the decision making is affected by this network of people and also observe Observe how people at senior leadership level make business strategies. Those insights, knowledges and experience will really help you when you are working as a scrum master and when you need to influence the organization to make changes at the corporate level. That is all from me today folks. Thank you for listening and hopefully today's video gives you some insights and starting points to start your career as a scrum master. See you on to my next vlog folks. 
maybe in another location. Until then, stay curious and stay awesome. Bye everyone.